Hi there, it's Mike here. Uh, in this uh, series of uh, short videos, I just want to document our journey from Oslo down uh, through Europe, uh, driving our Audi e-tron uh, Sportback, and uh, ending up in uh, Barcelona for a few days holiday. Uh, we started uh, about nine o'clock in the morning, drove down through Sweden. We had uh, three stops there, one at Spekerö, uh, Varberg, and then Helsingborg. Uh, not a lot of issues there. The only issue we had, I think, was uh, at uh, Varberg. Then there was four charges, but uh, only three were working. So it was a little bit of a wait there, uh, but we didn't need to top up an awful lot. So um, we moved along um, down to Helsingborg. That was perfectly okay. There was no uh, nobody at the charging station when we arrived there. And nice and uh, fortunately all these sort of stops that you know you, you it gives you a sort of a break uh, to go to the loo and buy something uh, you know to drink or something like that so it's not too bad actually it's quite a relaxing way to drive um, a little bit stressful uh, a little bit later on so I'll get uh, further on into the journey but uh, so far the journey seems to be uh, going very well The bridges over to Denmark. Uh, fantastic bridges, uh, a little bit expensive on the toll roads but uh, they really are a work of art uh, driving across them. Um, down through Denmark we, uh, we decided well we needed to top up a little bit
the car GPS uh, took us to a, uh, a small star charging station and uh, there was a queue when we got there which was unfortunate uh, it didn't really matter we looked at the uh, because we were going to take the ferry across from uh, Rödby to Pitgarden so we looked up the timetable there and uh, you know it's, there was no point rushing uh, but we managed to charge up and then drive sort of slowly down uh, to the ferry. Uh, the ferry is not a very long journey, it's just over to, to Puttgarden. Um, drive on, drive off, easily uh, easily done. And then uh, I think it's about an hour's drive or less than an hour's drive from uh, Puttgarden down to Liebeck, which, we, um, which was in the town we had decided to stay the first night. So I had booked uh, a hotel there with uh, charging, they said. However, the garage uh, was facility was okay and there was a charging uh, sort of, a, it was just an ordinary socket. It was a blue industrial one and an ordinary and uh, sort of household socket. Um, however, there was uh, a Dutch guy with a uh, hybrid car. He was connected uh, in so uh, where he could uh, fill up uh, his 10 to 15 kilometers. I was uh, left without a charge. However, I did plan for this. Uh, you have to plan for these things because nothing is sort of straightforward. So then we, um, we managed to, uh, to uh, have enough uh, energy in the car to get to uh, the next uh, hyper power charging. So the hotel is quite nice. I haven't stayed there before. We, uh, we'd, uh, we'd been in Liebeck a lot of times, but uh, this is the first time we've stayed actually in the Atlantic Hotel. It's, a, it's an okay hotel, it's uh, situated right in the middle of the sort of town, um, but we didn't, uh, we didn't uh, venture out uh, from the hotel, we decided to eat in the hotel. The hotel room was nice and clean and uh, fair enough, it uh, wasn't that expensive. Um, I put all the expenses on the uh, of the uh, charging systems and all that as we go along. So far, day one, uh, we have uh, driven uh, 838 kilometres. Uh, it's taken us nine hours of driving. Um, average speed is only 93 uh, kilometres an hour, so it's not that fast. And uh, the average consumption is uh, 24.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. F yeah, okay, I suppose. Um, 152.85 kilowatts I put in the car at a price of uh, 830 corona. Uh, and a one hour and 13 minutes charging time. So not that bad, really. That was day one. Um, so look out for day two um it will be coming um the car gps well i started off using it um 
in on day one because while I knew actually that uh, Ionity was quite okay to get down through Sweden with Speckera, Varberg and uh, Helsingborg so that wasn't going to be a problem. Um, Denmark, um, well the car found as I say it found an Eon uh, charger it was just two chargers uh, sort of stuck in a parking area and when we got there there was already cars parked there and there was one uh, two charging and one uh, parked uh, and as we sat waiting there came two other cars came along um, everyone sort of trying to get a charge sort of with their own cables plugging it in it was a bit of a, a bit of a mess really but um, people were sort of pleasant uh, they weren't uh, aggressive or anything like that and uh, you know you could sort of quite easily sort of spark up a little conversation and uh, talk about your car and whatever so all in all it was okay um, the weather as I say was fine enough it wasn't uh, wasn't blowing it wasn't cold so that's fine so uh, that's the first day uh, so far so good we'll uh, get back to you on uh, day two thanks for now bye